Hello everyone. Today we're taking a trip down memory lane. What you have before you is the Dr. Dreadful Drink Lab. This was made by Tyco in 1994. I got one of these when I was a kid, I think it was Christmas, and I really enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun with it. They made a wide range of different Dr. Dreadful labs, just to name a few. Food lab, living lab, ice cream machine, brain juicer, the gummy mummy wrapper machine. There's too many to list and I had different ones. But we're going to play around with this today and see what happens. But before that, I'd like to thank Lucky Penny Shop. I was on YouTube just browsing around and stumbled across his channel and he had made some Dr. Dreffel uh, videos and it brought those childhood memories to the surface. And I was like, oh man, I, I got to pull out my sets and play around with them. But I didn't have them anymore. So I had to go out and find some. Found this one on eBay, brand new. So if you're looking for one, that's the best place to get it. Let's turn the box around. You can look at the back of it. I always liked the artwork on these boxes. I thought it was real cool. Okay, well, I'm going to get all this stuff out of the box and we'll get started and see what happens. Okay, got it all out of the box. That's all there is. We'll take a look at some of this stuff. We have our two beakers. Then we have our test tubes and the little stoppers down here that go with them. We have our lever that goes to the pump here. This little air pump. We have our tubing, our flask, stopper that goes with it. This is a test tube rack. We have our measuring spoons, eyedropper, strainer, um, this little burner thing, and this is the stand and the legs for it. That's what your flask sits on top of. Let's see. We have a recipe guide. Pretty cool. We have our instructions. Sticker sheet. And another instruction guide. This one's just larger. And it's got different languages in it. And of course got my packets here. So uh, we're going to get this stuff put together the way it needs to be and we'll get to our first experiment here in a bit. Alrighty then, let's get this stuff put together. First, we'll do our test tube right here. This just snaps in like that. I went ahead and put the decals on stickers on our test tubes. They just slide in just like that. Then our, put our stoppers in. All right. And next we'll pick our Flask stand, put it together. His legs just snap in there pretty easily. And move that a little bit. And your burner thing just goes like this, and flask goes on top of it just like that. Our air pump lever. This goes in there like that. This is little switch deal is right here. The valves open up 
right here for the different hoses you have. And that's really all there is to the basic assembly. So I'm going to reset everything and we'll start with the first experiment. All right, here's our first experiment, liquid ice and worms. And one beaker, mix half a cup of water with one teaspoon of part one. Get our water. Okay. And one teaspoon part one. Stir that up good. That nice green color. It smell. It smells good. Okay, that's it for part one. Now we'll move on to part two. Let's see what it says. In the second beaker, combine a quarter cup of water with one teaspoon of part two. Okay. One thing I will say about these powders a lot of them were like solid, they wasn't soft and powdery anymore. And I had to pulverize and blend some of these parts just to get them to work. It was just horrible. But that's to be expected with a set this old, of course. All right. Stirred up. Man, it's even after getting it pulverized, it's still clumpy and not wanting to dissolve all that well. Just look at that. See, it's not. Well, we'll keep trying. Maybe it'll break up here in a second. Stir, stir, stir. Try and mash it up a bit. And you see how the water is brown? This mixture is not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to be kind of a clearish color. So it's just chemicals are just so old. On the box it says best by 1996. So we're a bit past the expiration date. Okay, I think we got it. Set that there. And we'll be on to the last step here. Now we're going to take our eyedropper tool right there and our strainer. We're going to put the strainer in there and get a little bit of this green solution. Let's see what happens. Just drop it in there like that. Well, it's not really working all that well. Let's try that again.
Well, not doing anything. We'll try it one last time. No, not doing anything. So, first experiment is a fail. What's supposed to happen is once you put these little droplets in here in this solution, it forms like tiny little balls that are like kind of jelly-like consistency. That's what's supposed to happen. But I guess the chemicals and the activation agents, whatever in it, are just so old, it's just not working. Okay, we'll move on to the second experiment. This is our second experiment. It's called Monster Warts. We're going to take the Monster Warts spoon and place one scoop of Monster Warts powder onto the back of your hand. And we're going to use the eyedropper and put a few drops of water. All right, so. I have to tell you, this powder here smells kind of funky. Uh, it's really hard to explain it. I'm not sure if this is going to work either, but we are going to try. That's the stuff. Okay, you just lift the back of your hand, put just a little bit of it like that, and let me get some water with my eyedropper. All right, here we go. Hmm, I don't see anything happening. Nothing happening at all. It's just turning greenish. Add one more drop of water. Still not doing anything. Okay. That looks like another fail. What a shame. Well, I'll... Uh, clean up some of my stuff here and we'll get started on the putrid potions experiment. Okay, we're on to the last experiment putrid potions for unthinkable drinkables. And beaker one, mix together a quarter cup water with one teaspoon of part one putrid potions, stir thoroughly. Okay. Quarter cup. All right. And get my potion mix here. One teaspoon. And just add a teeny bit more of that. And let's get this stirred up real good. Okay, that's good. It's got a bit of a clear, cloudy color to it. In addition to that, we're going to add two potion color scoops of yucky yellow. and two. 
and stir that again. So we got this nice yellow color now. All right. We're going to pour this mixture into the flask. Okay. Okay. And let's put this back on. Okay. Step two, pour an eighth cup of water into the second beaker. Add one teaspoon of part two putrid potions. Stir until dissolved, set aside. Okay. I'm gonna wash out this first beaker real quick. The um, Putrid Potions number two powder was very hardened and messed up. So what I ended up having to do was take some, grind it up and also dissolve it in warm water. That way it would dissolve and break up. So hopefully it won't mess up the chemicals or anything in it, adding that warm water. And there you go. Okay. Step three, remove the test tube stoppers from the test tubes, fill each of the three test tubes, two thirds full with water. All right. Let's move some stuff around here. Uh, just a little bit too much in there. Take a little out. Okay. Stoppers can be kind of hard to get off sometimes. You want a good seal. Yeah, they're a little bit uneven, but shouldn't hurt anything. I'll go ahead and try and even them out the best I can. Boy, isn't this exciting? Okay. Step four, we're going to add our potion colors to our test tubes. We'll put bubbling blue in the middle, yucky yellow in the left, and blood red in the right. Okay. I'll 
start with our bubbling blue. Next is going to be our yellow. I'm getting powder everywhere. Making a bit of a mess. Well, that's what this set is about. Making a mess. And finally, our blood red. Lastly, we're going to shake these things up, and I'm just going to take it and put my thumb over it like this and give it a shake. And you may be thinking, oh, uh, these things got to have a nice flavor to it. Actually, these three things, they have no taste whatsoever. They're just there to look cool. Okay, now, step five, we're going to go ahead and put these uh, stoppers back in. We're almost to the finish line here. Okay. Oops, that's the wrong one there. This one goes right here. Okay. And the last one. It's like a mess, doesn't it? Okay. Now we'll bring our flask over here. Take our beaker, put the hose in there like that. Now the pump might mess up real quickly. I just wanted to point this out. If you have one of these sets and the pump messes up over here to the right, there's a little pin hole. Take yourself a little pin and stick in there and it'll jump the pump off. Okay, we're gonna start this pump and we're going to open the air valves one at a time. We're going to start with the left valve and then open the right valve and then finally the middle. Okay. Let's see if this will work here. Uh oh. Well, wasn't that fantastic? Let's try that again, shall we? Left valve, and then our right valve. I don't know if you can see it, but it's bubbling a little bit here. And finally, our middle valve, which is going to take this blue liquid and hopefully pump it up into here. Oh, check that out. See how it's turning green like that?
I'll watch it bubble there for a second. Okay, that's enough. All right, I'm gonna move some of this, push some of this stuff out of the way a little bit. Off to the side. All right, make sure I got everything right. Put that in there. Okay, so we're left with, this is the part one solution, this is the part two. This is the final thing. Set the beaker containing part one gross green mix into a bowl. Quickly pour the clear mix part two all at once into the beaker. It's supposed to be clear, but since the stuff is so old, it's more of a brownish color. Okay, here we go. Put that in there. And lastly, put our brown solution in here. Let's see what happens. Whoa, check that out. Isn't that cool? Oh, man. Now that is cool, isn't it? The first time, see, I had this set when I was a kid. The first time I did this, I didn't take heed of the instructions that said, uh, put the beaker in a bowl. I didn't heed that. And it made a big mess. Went all over the table. So, but this is what you're left with. A green fizzling solution. Ain't that great. Even though this set is real old, I'm going to try just a small sip of this stuff, okay? Hopefully it won't kill me. Oh, woo -hoo. Oh, man. That is sour. It's like crushing up a dozen sweet tarts or something. And goodness. Well, I haven't dropped dead yet. Well, that's the end of the putrid potions experiment. I hope you found that enjoyable. So, that's it for this part. Okay, I wanted to give everybody a better look at this repulsive recipe guide. I only touched on it briefly earlier. Draculamon cocktail, Fleminade, black and blueberry brew, vampire bug juicer, eyeball soup, ice cream float, water bug tank. I've actually tried that one before. Just ginger ale and raisins. Real simple, real easy. Heart and dagger dipper. Scummy squig. Let's flip this over. Witch's brew punch. I think I made that one as well. Warlock brew. And roadkill. Oh, that looks gross, doesn't it? Well, that's really all there is to this little recipe guide. Well, that's it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it, or at least found it interesting. Once again, go check out Lucky Penny Shop. He's got a lot of great videos. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.